it's been a minute since I've done a video. I've been very busy and making a lot of changes within everything that I'm doing. So I used to have the STS uh, VJ, uh, the printer, the VJ628 from STS basically. I don't use that printer anymore. Um, I had too many problems with that printer. And when it came down to support and things like that, it was like people were, you know, basically making up things as they were going to kind of support something that wasn't really working. At the end of the day, um, I ended up learning a lot, though, with that experience, and I have moved on from that printer. I've tested out some other ones, done some research. Now, the one I'm working with is going to be an Epson 4880. Um, also, if you can get your hands on one of those, that's going to be something, you know, pretty special because the printer is pretty good. It allows you to use any type of ink that you want from whoever you want. Um, it's not keeping you stuck paying these crazy, ridiculous prices um, for no reason. You know what I mean? Um, some of these companies have white inks that are not good for you, uh, no matter what they say. You know what I mean? Um, remember, they're going to tell you what they want to tell you specifically because they need you to buy from them and continue to buy. Um, a lot of their solutions are not real solutions. So just keep in mind when they're selling items like that, you got to you got to understand that that's how they're making money. OK, um, I moved on from that printer. I converted my own printer. I've learned so much about, you know, equipment and stuff like that. And I'm still learning. I don't know it all, but I moved on from that printer. Like I said, um, right now I'm working with this series of um, of Epson and I've learned, you know, how to switch my own heads, how to basically maintain my printer, how to, you know, set up my chips for my refillable cartridges, all that type of stuff, which allows me to be more versatile and not depend or be stuck with a company. To the point, like I said, um, I'm going to show you a little video that is going to show you kind of like the printer I'm working with. Um, I've, you know, cleaned my lines out, uh, restore some of these printers, and that's kind of like how I've been setting it up. Um, I've also worked with unclogging um, the head that I was using. Um, it was having some issues. So I ended up unclogging the print head um, with a jewelry ultrasonic machine and some special uh, print head fluid that I was using too. So that worked out. And I funny thing is that I ended up ordering another print head. So I ordered another print head just in case because I was going to replace it because like I said, I was converting the 4880. Um, and what happened ended up happening was that I ended up unclogging it. Plus, the printer itself has a feature that is called an ultrasonic cleaning mode. And what it does is that it shakes the print head, it vibrates the print head while it's cleaning it. So while it's flushing ink through it, it's also um, doing this ultrasonic cleaning and vibrating, um, basically shaking the print head to a point that it loosens and breaks up all that clogging and the printer has been printing amazingly. I printed, um, right now I'm using the 13 inch rolls um, and I printed a basically 12.80 by 18.80 um, sheet, right? The whole sheet was an image, the whole sheet. And I printed the whole thing in about nine minutes, which compared to a lot of the printers that you see, um, that is pretty fast. Um, yes, you're going to have printers that have two heads that are going to be bring, you know, print faster and things like that. Four heads is kind of like overkill. But at this point, if you're at home and you're looking to kind of have something that you don't have to be babysitting all the time, understand this. I wake up and I don't print every day right now. Um, I do a lot of embroidery too. Um, I do marketing, I do um, business cards, flyers, banners. I do a lot of different things. I don't just do DTF. So now I move into a new place, new location, new estate, new everything. And at this point, I am resetting my whole DTF situation. Um, when it comes down to this, I've learned a lot of stuff like how to switch my printer head, like I said, how to do maintenance on the printer, how to take a lot of the things apart from it. Um, and I'm also still learning a lot. Every time you get a printer, make sure you're trying to learn as much as you can about that printer. Um, a lot of it is going to come down to you're going to have to try to be your own technician. Um, because if you're relying on customer service from a lot of these companies, understand that they're going to be going through people left and right and making promises and stuff. And you're going to be wasting a lot of your time. Um, 
honestly. Um, I also have a guy that is, you know, providing me with my print heads when I need them at a way better price than, you know, some of these companies are selling them, which is ridiculous. I don't know why you will buy that. This printer, you can actually use it for your own shop, honestly speaking. If I tell you how much I spend on this printer, um, you probably fall back. So um, basically, it's, it came out to be cheaper than be, me buying one of those L1800s that you're looking at. You know, they're selling all with all this extra stuff that you might not really need, um, honestly speaking. And then, like I said, I've done the conversion myself. Um, I found online if you're able to get one of these, they use a DX5 head, um, if, if, which is better than the DX7 that the VJ628 um, is using. Um, they are, and like I said, it's, it's a good startup printer um, and it's also a good workhorse printer so it's not just for startup it's also a good workhorse um a lot of it is you can find a lot of maintenance um videos online about it and you can start kind of messing with it so i'm gonna show you kind of what the printer looks like and i'll continue to make some printer i mean some videos as i go along so like that you guys can kind of see uh me venturing out and checking out this new model and working from there so hopefully you guys like my video uh, leave your comments at the bottom. Like I said, I've saved so much money when it comes to ink. I've saved so much money when it comes to um, maintenance and stuff like that. So it's something to keep in mind instead of, you know, throwing your money out um, to these companies and just going crazy with it. So check out the video and um, hope you like it. Hey guys, how you guys doing? I just wanted to show you kind of right now I'm working with um this epson pro 4880 which you can also use the 48 um the 4800 um this is a really good printer i'll tell you why a lot of it is because it is a workhorse if you can find it you know lucky you uh this printer comes back to the same thing you know i got re refillable cartridges i'm not tied down to any company using their own inks and stuff like that, I can use whoever I want in inks. And the same thing, I just gotta shake, you know, my whites. Normally, to be honest, I shake these like every three days um, or four days. Um, so just kind of giving you an update. I moved from where I was at, so I've been, you know, I sold my equipment over there. Now I'm moving into something different, so I converted this myself. And I bought another one of these from somebody else. But that's another story. That one wasn't working at all. So I bought this one and brought it back to life. Um, and it's been, a, it's been a little bit of a handful, but I got everything situated, getting all the items, the correct things, you know, with it. But it's a really good printer um, when it comes down to also has auto cutting and all that type of stuff. And this is kind of what I'm using right now. Um, I'm also gonna show you how I dry these. Normally it takes me like a minute 30. And you don't even have to spend all that money in like those six hundred or eight hundred dollar um, dryers that people are using. So I'll make a video on that. But this uh, forty eight eighty is something that um, basically, bro, is is been is fast. I tell you that I printed a thirteen by eighteen. So the design was twelve by eighty. I mean twelve point eighty by 18.80 and basically I printed that in nine minutes okay this printer uses a DX5 print head um, and basically they're pretty good it's like a workhorse and like I said I wake up I haven't printed every day I just wake up and right now I'm getting back to printing so what I do is I just run a regular uh, nozzle cleaning it does like uh, four or five and it does the auto print and it shows like full bars not just the little lines so that works out um, don't ask me about my Windex over there that's when I was doing to clean up my lines and stuff like that when I first got it so yeah the maintenance in this is a little bit different and taking care of it is also the same as you can see my um, gauge is over there just like I always tell people make sure you have your Humidity, you know, available right closest as you can to the print head because that's what you want to know um, Where is that and yeah guys? 
this is what I'm working with. I'm gonna walk you kind of through what I'm working um, at now and how I'm going about my prints. And this printer, like I said, when you are dealing with some of these companies, you already know what I used to use. Um, and I had a lot of issues with that company. And after the fact, you know, maybe some companies when they start getting big, they start make, messing up, you know what I mean? But this printer is really good. Um, I basically, I'm not, like I said, I don't know if this, uh, this printer is very common out there because I know the people that are buying them, they're not gonna, they're not letting them go. But if you are able to get a hold of one of these, do so. Um, I have two of these and then I have an L1800 as a backup too but I haven't had to use that since I got this running. Um, those are just kind of sitting there and my other 4880, I'm making modifications. I bought it from a guy that um, he had that completely messed up. Um, so I'm doing the conversion on that one myself too, but that one's gonna, I'm not rushing it. This one, I just wake up. Like I said, I haven't printed like in seven days. I wake up and I basically just do a cleaning in the morning and do a cleaning at night. I haven't shaken my inks and I get solid prints because I printed today and it was, you know, solid white and things like that. So maintenance wise is less, more forgiving once you walk the printer to that, you know, to that level. So just keep an eye out for these printers. Um, if you have any questions, you know, kind of let me know. Um, I can walk you through some of the errors that um, they'll pop up just like any other printer and how to work them out and, you know, what I do and where I get my stuff from. Thank you